G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me and in this video I'm going to give you my five top fruit trees that are just too easy to grow. So easy in fact that you'll feel like it's stealing for harvesting fruit that you've hardly lifted a finger to produce. Let's get into it. Number one, lemons. Did you know if it wasn't for humans, lemons wouldn't exist? That's right, this fruit is man-made. The original lemon was a cross between a citron, the original citrus fruit native to India, and a bitter orange. Probably crossbred a thousand plus years ago, before making its way into ancient Rome and becoming famous in modern Italy. But you might say, what about the wild bush lemon or rough lemon mark? I'm growing one right here. Doesn't it grow wild in Australia and from seed? Good point, but even this tree here is a cross between a mandarin and citron. Which reminds me, I've got to get a citron. There are lots of lemon varieties to choose from. They're all easy to grow and they provide an immeasurable service to world food. I mean, where would we be without lemons? No lemon face to start off with. Lemons are very hardy plants and will grow in most soils and climate ranges, even in colder climates that can get into the minuses. Lemons are the coldest tolerant variety of citrus. Some lemon trees are reported to survive in places that get down to minus 10 degrees Celsius. They also do very well in containers and can fruit profusely, so are really good for small spaces. And considering one lemon fruit can go quite a long way in the kitchen, it's a great tree to grow. No wonder for the saying, every backyard should have a lemon tree, because it's so true. Number two, plum. Know the saying, plum job, meaning an easy job? Well, in the old English days, plum meant 1,000 pounds, which was a lot of money back then. Plum also was slang for soft, hence the saying, plum job, to describe an easy job that pays well. And a plum tree, is an easy tree to grow that pays you well in fruit. See what I did there? Even a small plum tree can be worthwhile growing due to its productivity and grafted varieties can start setting fruit within the first year. Plums are not fussy when it comes to growing conditions and can do well in most soils and climates. Typically plums are a cold climate plant needing a winter chill, which means they need a cooler temperature to trigger flowering and fruiting but here in the subtropics, you can now get different varieties that have a low chill factor, makes them fruit profusely through even this climate. So don't sit in the corner like little Jack Horner, pull out your thumb and grow a plum. Number three, mulberry. That rhymes also. So does smooth as silk. And since mulberry leaves are the only food source for silkworms, it's not surprising that the mulberry is one of the most significant fruit trees in history, since it was silk that first opened up the world to international trade over 2,000 years ago. The original silkworm mulberry was the white variety from central China. Although the black mulberry from Western Asia is considered the best eating and often called the English mulberry, despite being imported into the UK in the early 1700s. The other significant variety of mulberry is the red, which is native to Eastern United States. Anyway, all three varieties of mulberry are worth growing. And of course, there are many hybrid varieties also that are well adapted to all sorts of soils and climates. In fact, in some areas, these trees are considered an invasive plant. Nevertheless, no one can deny how good a fresh black mulberry is to eat, plucked straight off the tree or stewed up as a mulberry pie made into mulberry jam. Yum! The thing is, mulberries don't have a very good shelf life and they're best either preserved or eaten straight after picking off the tree. And that's why growing your own is such a huge advantage. You can easily start a mulberry tree from a cutting, creating a clone of the original tree by cutting off a section of mulberry just as the new growing season begins. And bunging into a pot of soil, it should take root and grow in no time at all. Mulberries grow fast and will begin fruiting early on young trees. So you won't have to wait long to enjoy this amazing fruit. You may not be able to make a silk purse out of a sow's ear, 
but you can easily grow and eat the fruit from this famous and ancient fruit tree. Number four, kumquats. Kumquats are a variety of citrus that look like mini oranges, but they are not oranges at all. In fact, they're a completely different species. Kumquats originated in Southeast Asia and were imported into Europe in the 1800s. There are several reasons why this makes my top five fruit trees that are too easy to grow. Firstly, it grows in all types of soil. I have it growing here directly in hard red clay and look how well it's doing. It has a huge climate range with standing hot and cold conditions. The round variety of kumquat is the best for cold climates, whereas the variegated leaf like this one here aren't as easy to grow and the oval shaped ones don't do as well in colder climates. Kumquats produce heaps of fruit and almost all year round here in the subtropics. I'll tell you what, it'd be pretty hard to get scurvy if you grew one of these. All kumquats do well in containers and are even one of the top trees used by bonsai growers, particularly in China, where it's considered a good luck plant and grown indoors. People often shy away from kumquats because they are a sour fruit to eat. But did you know that the skin on a kumquat is quite sweet? So if you actually eat it together, it cancels each other out, like this. The skin really is delicious. You could just crumb for the skin, really. Honestly, I love them. Just eating them fresh like that. Normal people prefer to use kumquats in other ways, such as jams, marmalade, candied kumquats, or liqueurs. However you eat them is up to you. Just grow it. Number five, apple. Adam may have eaten that apple, but I don't blame Eve because who doesn't like apples? The great Alexander the Great. I think I dressed up as him once. No, that was Napoleon. Anyway, Alexander the Great is credited to have found dwarf apples growing in Kakistan around 2,500 years ago. So already back then, humans had started cultivating apples. Therefore, it's hardly surprising how advanced we are in apple cultivation with over 7,500 varieties of apples to choose from around the world. And it's this massive variation that makes growing apples at home so easy because there is literally an apple variety for every location and situation. Apple trees are typically grown in cooler regions, but these days you can get apple varieties that'll grow in just about any climate. And they will also thrive in pretty much any soil or location. You can grow them in containers if you lack the space or prune and train them heavily to fit wherever you want them. Apple trees grow easily and fast from seed. And I've even had apples self-seed in our garden from fallen fruit and then transplanted them elsewhere. Remember, an apple a day makes 365 in a year. Now, talking about seed in that last apple example, I should also mention one final point about growing these top five fruit trees, and that is they can all be easily grown from seed. But if you do, be aware the result might not be the same as the parent. The fruit could be better, although it's usually the opposite. The fruit harvested from a seed grown tree is not as good. However, if that happens, it's not all a waste of time and effort because you can always graft a section onto the rootstock that you have grown and create your own clone of the fruit tree you love. Well, I hope you loved this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.